Do you know how to create a line with angle using your mobile AutoCAD app? For today's video, I will going to show you how to create line with angle. First, you need to create the box. Using the polyline, create the box with measure of 12 by 12 with distance of 2 to each other. For the first box, we will going to create line from this end point going to the opposite end point or this will be 45 degrees. And then we will going to offset it by 1. So O enter 1 and then M for multiple. Then tap on the direction that you want to offset the line. For the next step, we will going to trim all the excess line by how TR enter and then select the cutting edges and then enter. Then you will going to select all the excess line. Box 2. First, we will going to go in drawing setting, polar tracking, and then select 30 degrees angle. And then using a line and this end point, make sure that you will going to follow the green polar guidance, guidelines rather, and it indicates 60 degrees. Make sure that it in indicated into 60 degrees line. After you have set the line, we will go to trim the excess line. TR, enter, select the cutting edges on the command line, and then select the cutting edges. But make sure that you will go to zoom in your drawing so that the cutting edges is correctly selected. Box 3, 30 degrees lines. Create line using this end point using the 30 degrees. But you can see 150 degrees. It means that 180 minus 30 degrees is equal to 150 degrees. Then offset the line and distance of 1 and then multiple for multiple tapping.
And then again, let's trim all the excess line. By how? TR, enter. Click the cutting edges, enter. And then click all the excess line to trim. For the fourth box, first let's change the polar tracking into 45 degrees. It means that the fourth box it co is contained of 45 degrees lines. And then select this 45 degrees angle line, then offset it by 1, going to this direction. And then trim all the excess lines using the TR, enter, cutting edges, select the cutting edges, enter, and then trim all the excess lines. Using the 45 degrees line, we will going to create a 45 degrees line going here, and then it's gonna top and then we're going to offset it by one. Then after you offset, you will do the trimming process. Fifth box, 30 and 60 degrees line. So first, we will go into change the polar tracking into 30 degrees. And then we will go into create line using the 30 degrees angle of this color green guidelines. Offset the 30 degrees line, two on top of it, and then the rest follows on this direction. And then trim all the excess line using TR, enter, cutting edges, select the cutting edges, enter, and then trim all the excess lines. Then, we will going to create 60 degrees line on this end point using the guidelines 60 degrees angle. Then, we will going to follow the color green guidelines for 60 degrees angle. And then, top. After you create 60 degrees line, you will going to offset it by 1 and then trim all the excess line.
The six box changed the polar tracking into 45 degrees angle. And then we will go into create polyline in this end point. Make sure that we will go into identify the midpoint. So first click the PL here and then let's find the midpoint of this line. Make sure that you will go into find the color green triangle which means the indication of midpoint and then going to have this X going through this direction or this endpoint then click and then enter then we will go into offset it by one and then trim all the excess line after that we will going to do the mirror of this line Thank you so much for your time. See you on my next video. Bye.